If you look up Clydesdale in the encyclopedia, you'll see the product of years of work by a central Illinois family. And it doesn't actually look exactly like him because they, they took the uh, background out, but it's him anyway. <laughs> Phil Farrell's ancestors settled on this farm in 1850. On this spot, yes. There's been a transition from great grandpa to grandpa to dad to, to us. When I was a kid, uh, uh, dad and grandpa had uh, Belgians and Pertrans as well as a couple of Clydes and uh, then it kind of transitioned after uh, I was out of school. Uh, dad went to Budweiser, became manager of their horse operation for 30 years. At its peak, the farm had between 75 and 100 Clydesdales. There would be some that would be maybe a couple of inches taller than this one, but not very many. These are on the big side. Are you just sort of an, an animal expert, do you think? Because this cat clearly loves you. You have a dog, you have other things, I mean. <laughs> I've always uh, seemed to have gotten along pretty good with animals. Uh, she's been shown a lot, and uh, she thinks she's a uh, She'd probably be a lap horse if you'd let her be. The horse business is hobby. And most people, when they're dealing with me, it's their time off, so to speak. It's what they want to do. And it's very, very upbeat. And uh, that, that goes pretty much with everyone we deal with. The guy in the white is from Ireland. The guys on the right are from Mongolia. The people on the left are from China, southern China. So uh, we could have had a summit right there, I guess. A lot of them are uh, wealthy. Um, they have their, their small farms to large farms, and they've decided they want to want to get into the horse world one way or another. We supplied. Uh, I don't know, between 50 and 60 horses and a lot of equipment to the heiress of Campbell Soup in Ocala at her farm down there. Michael Jackson, the Bush family. George Foreman, I spent several days with on his ranch showing him and his brother-in-law how to take care of the horses and harness them and hitch them and drive them. We took a wagon harness down also. That was for the kids that he deals with. Kind of got past the, the nervous part, I guess, and, and saw in, in general other than than the wealth. It, it doesn't intimidate me, I'll put it that way. You're dealing with, you know, some of the richest people in the world and you're just, <laughs> you're just you. you I'm know? just me. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> exactly. I'm just me sitting out here in the middle of Illinois and, uh, um, you know, to get calls from these people like that, that, that want to involve me to do something they want to do. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of baffling. I'm convinced the farm will continue on and uh, the grandkids at this point like it also, but I think it, it will be here a while.